Whether I'm with you or against you From adventure Back through that maze I sent you Talking to the rap inventor Nigga with the game type Shift that flame right Spell my name right B-I Double G-I-E Ice out Lights out Me and see the Leon It's the start of Marlin season This could be the Hail Mary session of all time And we're here at Sydney Heads about to head out to the shelf. Usually this sort of thing involves us battening down the hatches, donning the snorkel gear as we punch out in a four metre tinny. But today we've got something a little bit different. It's the 376 Canyon from Grady White. And this thing has a four metre beam, so the beam is as wide as the boats we usually go out in. But anyway, we think this might be our fastest ever run to the shelf. So, let's put the stopwatch on and see if we can lay down a record to the shelf. Let's go. On your marks, dead, go! If I got to choose the coast, I got to choose the east. I live out there, so don't go there. But that don't mean a nigga can't rest in the west. See some nice rest in the west. So we just got to the shelf. 22 minutes and 40 seconds. That has to be a record. So an epic run to the shelf this morning. That was the quickest I think we've ever got out here. But now we've thrown the lures in. We're running a spread of five skirts. And the craziest thing is this boat's so wide, you don't even need to put the outriggers out to get a five spread out. So pretty cool. Now we're about 18 nautical miles north of Browns Mountain, off Sydney. Uh, just having a look around, there's some good water changes out here, some good temperature changes and some currents. So we'll keep probing away and hopefully a little blue marlin comes to play soon. Great thing about Sydney Harbour, there is absolutely A grade game fishing right at its doorstep. But just like today, when you don't catch shit all, you can still come back in and get a nice feast of prawns and beers and sit around on anchor in a beautiful, calm, protected bay. This boat's a little bit of a choose your own adventure. We've got the bow section here for some mid troll tanning. We've got the rear deck for the drinking and the eating. And then we have down below in the cabin, which is a bit of the powder room. There are 22 cup holders in this baby and they're perfectly suited to my miniature prawn buckets. The cabin in the canyon is bigger than the captain's headquarters. There's a shower, aircon, TV, fridge, microwave, and even a convertible bed. All right, time for some specs on the canyon. Well, it's not towable, not by a RAV4 anyway. This thing sits at almost seven tons. This thing is the steamroller of the sea, and for good reason. It's the classic C. Raymond Hunt design, which Grady White have been using since 1959. It's super soft, but also super stable. The attention to detail in the canyon is next level. The fittings aren't powder coated, they use a special type of paint which they use on jet planes. Everything's smooth as a baby's bum and recessed in. The leather is from virgin Scandinavian cows which roam free so they don't scratch their hides on barbed wire fences. <laughs> now she carries almost 1500 litres of fuel. That's enough to get from where we are right now in Sydney Harbour all the way to the Gold Coast on one tank. Today we're running at 6,000 RPM and burning 300 litres of fuel while cruising along at a swift 42 knots. So, who's this boat going to suit? Me! Hey Trav, how much do you think we can get for the 445 on Gumtree? Sam's asking 800 G's. <laughs> 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 